and they're off. Today's feature race here on the Knavesmire is the William Hill Bronte Cup at Philly Stakes, a group three over a mile and three quarters. And a little slow in getting going tight right here is at the back end of the field, but they're not going all that far, so catching up uh, shouldn't be a problem. It is one evening who sets a, a pretty serene tempo through the opening 300 yards ahead of River of Stars, who was well back beforehand. She races in at second, with now pushing forward C Flawless in the pink and light blue colours down the outside. Daniel Muscat uh, perhaps wanting to go a little faster with uh, not too far off the pace either Alarus is in the blue and white colours. The favourite Mimic Hugh is in the white jacket over towards the rails and closely pursued by Voodoo Queen. Then in orange along the inside is Moon Daisy. Wiki Wiki Wheels Yellow Sleeves is at the back end of the field with only Typewriter behind. As they move on through the completion of their first half a mile, they've gone past the 10 peg and making the journey on now towards their final nine furlongs. And their first turn with one evening showing out in front, leading by around about a length or so to see Flawless, who has now settled down in second place. And then River of Stars in the black colours are running in third. Wider out in fourth is Alarus, who's been closely pursued by Mimic Hugh, last year's Park Hill winner, down along the inside of Voodoo Queen. Next in running is Moon Daisy, currently a place better than Wiki Wiki Wheels, and the back marker continues to be Typewriter, who at this stage would be around about eight or nine lengths off the leader. They've moved on past the seven furlong marker, they're now through halfway, and uh, shortly they'll be making another left-handed turn, the turn which will bring them all the way back towards the home straight in this uh, Group 3 William Hill Bronte Cup Philly Stakes. One evening has made it all so far, Danny Tudhope on board. A length or so to the good over Sea Flawless in second, then to the rails running third River of Stars ahead of Alarus. Next is Mimic U. Voodoo Queen is running currently in a sixth spot just ahead of Moon Daisy. And at the back end of the field, Wiki Wiki Wheels and finally Typewriter, who spots the leader 10 lengths as they swing for home and gallop down the home straight with half a mile left to run. They've left the inside behind them and they're now racing centre to stand side, being brought there by one evening. But on the case to the outside is C Flawless, who's now just a neck behind and moving well. Pushed along back in third is River of Stars. Now Mimic Hugh is called upon for an effort away to the far right. Alarus is following with Voodoo Queen over towards the near side. Hard up against the stands rails is Typewriter then Wiki Wiki Wheels and Moon Daisy. They race with under two furlongs left to go. With the white face it is one evening challenged towards the near side by Voodoo Queen. Mimic Hugh is away over on the centre of the track with battling away River of Stars as well and now it's River of Stars and Mimic Hugh with down the near rails Voodoo Queen. There's a leading line of three here deep inside the last. Mimic Hugh in the white colours just about with a nose in front. Battling back towards the near side is River of Stars and it's River of Stars. River of Stars and Mimic Hugh I think in that order. With back in behind them Voodoo Queen and a break back to over towards the near side Typewriter with one evening. River of Stars has taken the feature William Hill Bronte Cup Group 3 here at York of Roman three quarters under Ross Orion for Rafe Beckett. Well done Ross how did that play out for you? Played out well probably. Um, if it wasn't her first run of the year, I probably would have let her roll along. Um, just the middle part of the race, we, 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 we filled up a lot. and You could see from the top of the straight, I had to sit into her, but she was just being a bit leery with me. But, you know, Kieran's horse has dragged me into the race, and she knew where the line was. She stuck it out well, and it wouldn't surprise me if she gets a small bit further. But Grant has worked out. Rafe has seemed to aim, or aim her for this for a while, and... It's worked out lovely. She had a lot to turn around in the Park Hill with the winner, but she turned around. Yeah, she didn't quite run a race in the Park Hill, did she? And before that, she'd been very much going the right way. No, she's a, she's a light enough filly, um, and I'd say she quite enjoyed that good ground. She's just a bit, as I said, she like a bit on and off the bridle the whole way. Um, but if, if they don't get away on her like they didn't today, she grinds it out well, you know. So she's very versatile and... Um, it's good for a bunch of owners and um, yeah, he, you know, the, the team at home have done a great job and uh, they've, they've stuck faith in her and she's, she's paid them off. Yeah, a nice win, well done. Thank you, cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.